and he's gonna <laughs> kill someone. Are you a chicken? I sure hope not. <laughs> hey, what's up? What are you guys doing? Hello! In this lesson, we're going to use the idiom, Curiosity killed the cat, and a picture to create a conversation. We're also going to talk about the following words and phrases. Tough. Motorcycle gang. Haunted. Murder. To sneak. Are you chicken? <laughs> Okay, so this should be a good lesson. I think we should get started. First, let's talk about the idiom. Curiosity killed the cat. You know, what does it mean? It means too much curiosity can lead to dangerous situations. So curiosity just means you want to know something, right? You're curious. Hmm, what is that about? Oh, I want to know more information about that. Oh, that seems exciting, right? So too much curiosity can lead to dangerous situations. And this idiom is basically a warning. It's a warning to keep someone from getting involved. If you get involved with something, you go there. You participate. You're part of the action, right? Curiosity killed the cat is a warning that says, ooh, you know, it could be a bad situation for you. Let's see an example. Ooh, that tough motorcycle gang looks interesting. Hmm, curiosity killed the cat. I'd better stay away. Okay, so, in other words, hmm, bad things could happen if I get involved where I shouldn't, right? Too much curiosity might lead to a dangerous situation. All right, we have the word tough. Let's see what the word tough means. Okay, so we're describing a person or a group of people and about them, right? So tough, <laughs> some other ways to say tough are strong, powerful, muscular, brawny, and mighty, right? So these are different ways to say tough. A tough person, a strong person, a powerful person, a muscular person, a brawny person, a mighty person. So we're talking about physical ability, right? If we look at this guy right here, I would say he's probably part of a gang. He has tattoos all over, uh, tattoos of skulls, I guess, on his fingers and stuff like that. And he's trying to let everybody know that he's a tough guy. You mess with me, there will be consequences, right? So he's trying to put out the <clears throat> he's trying to put out the image that he's tough, and he probably is tough. But I don't think I'd want to mess around with him. This <laughs> this guy over here, he may be tough, or <laughs> maybe the jar of pickles is tougher than he is. I can't open it. Right? So he's trying. Maybe he thought he was tough. And then the jar of pickles made him realize that he was weak. Right? The opposite of tough would be weak. Not strong. Not powerful. And so on. Now this guy down here, he's lifting some heavy, heavy weight. Right? Look at his face. How focused he is. He's very muscular, right? He's powerful. Look how much weight he's lifting, right? You could say he's tough. Seems like he likes the tattoos too. This lady, I would say she's muscular, right? Look at the tone, the definition of the muscles on her body. You could say she's strong. She's tough, right? Okay, so this is what the word tough means. And in our example, we use the word tough to describe a motorcycle gang. Let's figure out what a motorcycle gang is. So a motorcycle gang is, put the definition here, an organized group of criminals that likes motorcycles. So organized means 
they've made a plan to get together and they have a specific goal they have an idea of what they want to accomplish right so an organized group of criminals criminals are people who break the law right the government really doesn't enjoy them <laughs> government and the police and they try to stop criminals that likes motorcycles so here are motorcycles a uh, Harley Davidson motor motorcycles very very famous right and here is but possibly a motorcycle gang right they all have the same kind of uh, leather jackets similar helmets and it's hard to tell if they're criminals or if they're just you know people that enjoy riding around on motorcycles together I'm gonna guess that they're not criminals based on the bikes the motorcycles that they have like this is a big cruising kind of bike for going in long distances and maybe it's a husband and wife on it but yeah this guy down here maybe he's part of like the Chinese mafia or something or he's a criminal he's part of an organized group of criminals and they like motorcycles or they like to ride around on motorcycles this picture shows a fist that's coming toward us right like someone's gonna punch us and broken glass maybe they're trying to rob us they hit us and then they dig in our pockets and steal our phone and our money so things that criminals would do you know break the law and hurt people or take things right so this was our example ooh that tough motorcycle gang looks interesting hmm curiosity killed the cat I'd better stay away and it might seem interesting to walk up to the motorcycle gang and say hey what's up what are you guys doing right can I ask you some questions but I bet the motorcycle gang would be like what are you doing get the hell out of here right if you don't get out of here we're gonna hurt you so this is the example curiosity killed the cat it's just a warning to keep someone from getting involved and too much curiosity wanting to find out about something too much can lead to dangerous situations all right on to the conversation right we're going to use the idiom curiosity killed the cat here's our picture and yes time to talk about the picture i see two people tom and jane we can start with the environment where they are they're outside and it looks like they're sitting on a white bench i would guess it's a white wooden bench they're facing away from us, right? So their heads, they're looking in the opposite, in that direction, the same direction we are. They're not looking at us. So we see the back of their heads. Now this environment is, wow, it's quite nice. I'm going to guess it's either a very, very nice park or it's a mansion, which is like a huge, very expensive house where wealthy people, really rich people live. Maybe this is their house. Uh, maybe this is a really fancy hotel. I don't know, but the area is wonderful right in front of them is probably a garden with Beautiful flowers looks like it's a bright sunny day out I would say I think they're probably sitting a little bit in the shade because in front of them in front of them things are really bright and uh, Their clothing is not so bright. So it's a wonderful day. It looks like there's a couple sitting outside on a bench Tom has his arm around Jane has his right arm around Jane, uh, closer to her shoulders on top of the bench, and his arm is resting, his elbow is resting on the top part of the bench. Tom has a very nice suit on, and he's dressed up, could be for a wedding or very some very formal event. Jane has a white dress on, looks like it's a kind of a fancy dress. She has a bracelet on her left arm. Her left arm is around the back of Tom, and it's in front of the the back part of the bench so it might be a little bit uncomfortable for her if Tom leans back right it's going to pinch her arm between his back and the the bench so Jane and Tom are both looking away Jane has I would say fairly short hair for a woman it looks like it, it maybe has highlights or it's dyed multiple colors brown and maybe like a lighter brown uh, Tom has pretty short hair uh, dark brown it looks like in Tom's right hand he's either holding or maybe there's a bouquet of flowers it might be attached to the top of the bench I'm not sure or maybe he's holding it but either way if I had to summarize this picture I would say there's a couple sitting in a beautiful environment near a park and looking at a mansion and they have their arms around each other and they're having a grand old time a wonderful time now let's see what they're talking about right okay 
So Tom's gonna speak first. He says, isn't, let me move my mouse. Isn't that house haunted? I heard there were three murders there last year. Jane, I want to see the inside. Let's break, whoop, break into or at midnight. It could be fun. Tom, curiosity killed the cat, honey. We shouldn't go sneaking around there. Jane, I thought I married a brave man. Are you a chicken? I sure hope not. <laughs> okay, so the idiom is curiosity killed the cat. And we just use it once in this conversation. Tom says it. We'll make it bold and it's easy to see where it's in the placement in the conversation and how it's used. Okay, so I'm going to repeat the conversation at regular speed. Follow along. Here we go. Tom, isn't that house haunted? I heard there were three murders there last year. Jane, I want to see the inside. Let's break in at midnight. It could be fun. Tom, curiosity killed the cat, honey. We shouldn't go sneaking around there. Jane, I thought I married a brave man. Are you a chicken? I sure hope not. <laughs> okay, so looks like they have, or she has interesting plans, and he is like, uh, maybe not. So let's see, let's go through the conversation. <clears throat> Excuse me, and we'll talk about some of the vocabulary. All right, haunted. Isn't that house haunted? So we're describing what's going on with the house. Is it haunted? Let's check out the word haunted. All right, so here are some pictures that give us an idea of what haunted means. And let's talk about the definition. All right, a haunted means a place that has a ghost or evil spirits living there. So whether or not you believe in ghosts, I don't know. Haunted is the idea that there's some place where there's something that's not right. Like in this picture, there's a ghost. There's a ghost that looks like of a woman, and she's transparent. I guess ghosts can be transparent. Transparent, and personally, I don't think I've ever seen a ghost, and I, I won't say they don't exist, but I haven't seen evidence that they do exist. So I don't know. Um, but the idea in movies and stuff, ghosts haunt a house or they haunt a location and a haunted place is a place that has a ghost or evil spirits living there okay and ghosts depend on the movie right ghosts could be good or they could be bad usually when it's dark and scary they try to freak you out and make it you think that the ghost is bad uh, in this one we have this creepy guy in front carrying this big scythe <laughs> this is called a scythe it's a tool that they use to cut down weeds and grain and uh, yeah, in the field, right? But in a haunted movie, the scythe, the big thing with the blade on the end is used, you know, they use it to kill people. And this is like the perfect picture of a haunted house for Halloween or uh, in a movie, it's haunted. There's scary things there. There are ghosts and stuff. This picture is just looks like a tunnel inside probably an old building maybe people think it's a haunted place and it's creepy it's scary and maybe this is a window or something on the other side is like a ghost or a demon or an evil spirit or something like that so haunted just once again is a place that has a ghost or evil spirits living there it's scary it's creepy and it kind of freaks people out so the idea is that isn't that house haunted we're probably talking about this house over here does it have like ghosts and stuff in there right Ooh, or evil spirits and i heard there were three murders there last year so what does the word murder mean let's check it out <laughs> it's not very nice okay the word murder all right first let's do the definition put it up over here okay 
Murder is the unlawful, premeditated killing of one human being by another. So unlawful means you broke the law. <laughs> I think most laws was, most countries have laws where it says it's against the law to kill people. Premeditated is a big word which just means that you planned it, right? You thought about it, you know, I'm going to kill this person or this person, I'm going to do this, but you made a plan to do the murder, right? So unlawful premeditated killing of one human being by another. So that's the definition of murder. And I have some funnier pictures, so they're not humans, but we'll talk about them. Let's see, this picture down here, this guy with a knife, I doubt that he's going to stab a pumpkin <laughs> or stab a watermelon. He's probably going to stab a person. And since he's holding it, he's probably had enough time to think about it and raise the knife up, right? So it could be premeditated. Maybe he planned it beforehand and he's going <laughs> to kill someone. Uh, and this picture is like a crime scene. Uh, before, there was a dead body here. And the police or the people that come in to investigate the, the crime scene, they drew a chalk line around where the body was before. On the floor, uh, the tile is like checkered, which means it's, a, it's like a blue, white, blue, white pattern. And there's blood all over the floor. So this person, maybe, this guy stabbed this person and blood's all over the floor, right? And once again, this is called a chalk line. And it's just a line that they put around the body because they usually don't leave the body laying there for a super long time because it's going to you know, rot and people don't want to see dead bodies, so they remove it. But before they move it, they'll put line, a line, line around the body so whoever's investigating it can see you know, where the body was and the blood and all that stuff. Okay, let's get to the not-so-serious pictures. All right, so this is Kermit the Frog. He is a famous children's character. <laughs> and in this picture, he is killing stabbing with a long knife a, t a potato <laughs> and there are two potatoes one potato is like oh, 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 oh. the other potato i think is already dead and it's probably ketchup or tomato sauce <laughs> but it's kind of a funny picture so kermit the frog is <coughs> stabbing a tomato maybe they had an argument the potato uh, insulted his mother and he couldn't take it and he stabbed him over here we have the same potato that's like oh and it looks like another potato that has been stabbed with a mini fork and a mini knife and more red sauce coming out. I'm going to I'm going to guess it's ketchup or tomato sauce. Okay. So murder, the unlawful off the unlawful premeditated killing of one human being by another or a potato killing another potato. <laughs> All right, back to the conversation. Let's see. So, isn't that house haunted? I heard there were three murders there last year. Jane, I want to see the inside. Let's break in. Break in means you don't necessarily have the key. <laughs> you maybe break the door, break the window, and then you reach in and unlock the door from the outside and from the inside. Uh, or break in just could be you're in a place where you shouldn't be, and it's already been established that no one else should be there, and you go there anyway. Okay, so Tom says, curiosity killed the cat. This is probably not a good good idea, honey. And honey is just like baby. Lovely, love my lovely peach pie. It's a term of endearment, someone, something that we say to someone that we love. Okay. Tom says, we shouldn't go sneaking around there. What does sneaking mean? Ooh, I'm glad you asked. Okay, so sneaking is from the verb to sneak. And let's do the definition. All right, to sneak is to move. So it's an action, right? To move in a way so other people can't see you. To hide while you're moving or try to hide while you're moving, right? Okay, so let's say this guy over here, we have a soldier and you see he's crawling on the ground on his tummy, right face down. It looks like he has a gun and he has a helmet. And he has all the gear and supplies for a soldier and he's sneaking maybe there's an enemy up ahead and he doesn't want the enemy to see him so he's sneaking he's dragging his body on the ground slowly he's crawling 
right? So he's moving in a way so that other people don't see him. Also, he's wearing camouflage, so he's wearing the same kind of colors as the ground and the grass and stuff like that, so it's more difficult to see him. Down here we have a cat. We have a bird standing on, looks like an old uh, piece of an orange. And you could say the cat was probably sneaking up to eat the bird or to hunt or to attack the bird. So the cat is sneaking, right? And I bet the bird already sees the cat, but maybe before this the cat was, you know, sneaking, kind of like the soldier through the grass. Who knows? This lady right here, she's hiding behind the bushes. Why? I don't know. She's sneaking. <laughs> maybe she's spying on the neighbor and she wants to see what they're doing, but she doesn't want the neighbor to see her. So she kind of hides in the bushes, right? So the bushes are kind of blocking her. She's sneaking around. <laughs> Okay, and sneaking is, a great way to show what sneaking is, is what ninjas do in like movies, right? They wear masks, they wear black, they go out at night and they sneak around and they have a mission. So they don't want other people to see what they're doing because then the other people probably would get involved and try to stop them. So to sneak is to move in a way so other people can't see you. And it's to hide while you're moving. Okay. All right, back to the conversation. So curiosity killed the cat, honey. We shouldn't go sneaking around there. We shouldn't go trying to look in there like we're hiding and creeping around there. Jane, I thought I married a brave man. Are you a chicken? I sure hope not. Huh. So she says, are you a chicken? And she doesn't mean like bark, 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 bark. <laughs> the actual animal, right? She, she means something different. So let's take a look. So, are you a chicken? Another way to ask or to say, are you a chicken is, are you a coward? Coward is someone who's not brave, right? They're not courageous. Another way is, are you a yellow belly? <laughs> belly just means your tummy and yellow belly is a phrase which just means chicken. You're a coward. You're scared of things, right? And another way is, are you a sissy? And a sissy would be like a weak person who's always afraid of things. You know, they're scared. Are you a sissy? So these are other ways to say, are you a chicken? Are you a coward? Are you a yellow belly? Are you a sissy? And these are questions, right? So they're kind of like taunting someone, trying to get someone maybe upset. If we don't want to ask a question and we're already convinced in our mind, you could say, you're a chicken. You're a coward. You're a yellow belly. You're a sissy. <laughs> so you're saying, you know, you're a coward. You're not brave at all. So in these pictures, this guy, <laughs> he just looks kind of weak, right? He has his arm. He's trying to flex his muscles, but there really aren't any muscles. <laughs> he's got this fit. Right. So... Maybe someone said, are you a coward? And he's like, no, I'm not a coward. But he has no strength to be able to really do anything. In this picture, it's a soldier who is a coward because he's running away from the battle, trying to escape. This guy is hiding behind, <laughs> hiding behind the counter. He, someone said, are you a chicken? He's like, yes, I'm a chicken. <laughs> this guy saw something scary and he ran away from it. Maybe it was like a big spider. <laughs> And someone says, why are you such a big chicken? It's just a little spider. Right, so he ran away. So, are you chicken is another way to say, are you a coward? Are you a yellow belly? Are you a sissy? Are you scared of things? Why are you so weak? Why are you not valiant and brave? Okay, so that was the conversation. I'm going to repeat it one more time at regular speed. Here we go. Tom. Isn't that house haunted? I heard there were three murders there last year. Jane, I want to see the inside. Let's break in at, at midnight. Oh, I just realized I need to put a T here. All right. Okay. Jane, I want to see the inside. Let's break in at midnight. It could be fun. Tom, curiosity killed the cat, honey. We shouldn't go sneaking around there. Jane, I thought I married a brave man. Are you a chicken? I sure hope not.
<laughs> when she says, I sure hope not, it's like, I really hope you're not a chicken. I really hope you're not weak. I hope you're brave, right? Okay, so that was our conversation today We're using the picture and the idiom. But once again, today we focused on the idiom, curiosity killed the cat. We combined it with the picture to create a conversation. And also, we talked about vocabulary words and phrases. Tough, motorcycle gang, haunted, murder, to sneak, are you a chicken? <laughs> okay, I had a wonderful time teaching this lesson. Hopefully you did too. Remember, master your idioms, master your English. Okay.